Hmm. Beautiful women named Air Quality Alert are messaging me. What about you? Hmm. You're a lore keeper? Can you tell me about Five Nights at Float Souls? My friend keeps talking about it. I'm not that type of lore keeper, but I have heard of someone who might be able to help you. The famous Sir Matthew Patrick, theorist of the games. If he isn't trying to get you into one of his hoodies first. I'm just kidding, mate. I'm sorry. <sighs> Things are different now that stuff has changed. Yeah. Hey, where do ravens go when the sun goes down? Why do you think the sky is black at night? A gasp. Adventures in librarianing. The other day, my computer kept shutting off on me out of nowhere in the middle of a class visit. I was becoming resigned to my fate, which must have come off as dismay to the kiddos because one of them gently went, Would you like a hug? Yes, actually, I would, I said. Immediately, several of the kids lined up to give me hugs. This is so precious! Stop it! Pansexuals are cool. If you're pan, you deserve the world. I do? Okay, seriously, beautiful girls named Severe Weather keep messaging me. Please stop. I'm finally off after 11 hours. I work at an infectious disease lab. What about yourself? Oh, gosh. Like, you make the diseases or against them? Coming home after a long and difficult shift at the disease factory. I'm joining the war on diseases on the side of the diseases. You can't stop me. I'm... I'm... <laughs> It allows your halfling to operate a crossbow from an elevated position while still leaving your hands free for melee. I... I need to see this in action. I know, I know. Gatekeeping the outdoors, that's supposedly bad, right? But I think if you show up to do a hike and you brought a portable speaker with you to play music while you hike, I think, like, hear me out, there should be a gate and someone at the gate should be keeping you from doing the hike. Playing music in public should get strong social disapproval. Recorded music, anyway. Live music, it's, it's different rules. If you want to lug an entire cello up a mountain, you can do whatever the hell you want. Why do we need scientists to find out how much the Earth weighs? Just put the scale upside down. I don't know if that worked, though. Wait. Andy, do you have a scale by any chance? Writing prompt. You are known as the Silent Wanderer. Ageless because of time magic. You have lived longer than the oldest of dragons, cursed to never being able to speak or talk in a way people can understand. But that's okay. Actions speak louder than words ever will. I stand before the cashier. They shuffle awkwardly as I present the burger they served me. I glare pointedly. I open the burger. I point. Pickles! Being a DM and writing your own campaigns is like buying your cats in a Lampert cat condo and then watching those dumb idiots spend four days in the box it came in eating packing peanuts. Slams the reblog so fast. This is a haiku. You just don't realize it yet. Uh, 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 coconut water. Ah, you've come so far, heroes, but to get to my treasure, you must solve my riddles three. One, what? Two, the actual... And three. Fuck! This, this was like the Hex Maniac for Boomers. Someone pointed out that when HD2D Remake comes out, she's gonna be relevant again. Like, you'd see artists that haven't posted anything since the 90s come back from the grave. So, watch out. I only want to eat things with ingredients I can pronounce. Has always been one of the funniest moral positions of all time. Literally just learn how to pronounce more ingredients then. Truly undefeated in its celebration of ignorance. Can't pronounce Worcestershire sauce, but you know what I can pronounce? Laundry detergent. I literally haven't been normal since I saw a bunch of Twitter users referring to character death as the death trope. Like, girls, that, that, that's called death from real life. Me every morning. Wow, I'm doing the waking up trope, <laughs> the breakfast trope. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to pull the end the video unabruptly trope.